Every time an update comes out for Horizon 5, quite often there are stuff left in the files, little breadcrumbs that tell us about some future stuff. We always do this every month, so today we're going to take a look if there's anything in the update that's just been released and talk about some leaked body kits and the next update in general. Now the guys over at GT Planet are usually the guys who snoop through the files. A couple of weeks ago we had a huge leak where nine cars were leaked, we'll touch on that a little bit later on, but it has now been said that as per the latest update they have made changes changes to those encrypted files, basically cracking down further on these specific files that told us about a load of stuff that were coming, they seem to have put a lot more effort into encrypting them now, which means that we may not have many leaks at all from this point in regards to this file, there might be other stuff that people can find. Body kit wise however, we have a little bit of information on that. As you know, the Corvette E-Ray is going to be gifted to any Forza Horizon 5 player who purchases and plays the new Forza Motorsport game on October the 5th. Even if you buy it now, you don't get it till October the 5th. Influencers who were lucky enough to play the Forza Motorsport preview have already been given the Corvette E-Ray within Horizon 5. Now, that includes myself as I have played the Motorsport preview. However, we have been requested not to show any gameplay. We're not allowed to show anything until October the 5th. However, over on GT Planet, a couple of other YouTubers incidentally posted about this Corvette E-Ray in-game and there will be a Sigala Designs body kit available for the Corvette E-Ray. This includes the full body kit and the giant spoiler at the back. Here are some real life images of what this should and potentially look like in-game on October the 5th once we have access to the Corvette E-Ray. Now, speaking on body kits, somebody posted about the BMW i4, which is a new car as per this update. I believe it comes out on October the 5th as well, the final week of this series. And there's a Forza wide body kit available for it. Looks kind of cool. It's a very subtle one, but these are the type of things that don't get announced in the Horizon 5 streams. And I don't know why, because we want to know about the new body kits in the game, especially on the new cars. So the i4's got one and the E-Ray has one. TGR55 is the main guy that finds these leaks and he, he's been through them presumably and not found anything as I mentioned earlier. Um, but he's found some code names. The Event Lab Island was codenamed as Pandora. Motorsport is Steelhead. Donut Media is Saber. It's quite cool that all of these things have code names, but there's nothing about anything future wise. What we do know about the future is that the next update will be Dia de Muertos, and we can see that there will be Dia de Muertos decorations. Now, if we Google Dia de Muertos, it's basically Day of the Dead. Um, it's a Mexican sort of celebration thing. It's kind of like a Halloween type vibe, but it looks very bright, very orange. It seems to be the color theme there. Very, I mean, you can see what it is on screen. So if we can expect any decorations as per se, as per said here, these are the type of stuff we can expect. Now, next to it, we have most requested car. Now we can look what the most requested car is over at the, on the suggestions hub. And it turns out it still is to this day, the Nissan Tsuru from 1992 to 2017. So that's quite a wide range. So essentially a Nissan Sentra. And if you Google it, the Tsuru is common used in taxi cab livery in Mexico so it's a very Mexican vibe car that Nissan Suru and it's coming in the day of the dead update now if there's any other Mexican style cars that you can think of especially ones that may be on this leaked car list that we've gathered over the past year those will be certain possibilities to be added in the update as well as the Tsuru is finally coming. That's what we can guess that they mean anyway because it does say most requested car. What's really funny about the Dia de Muertos is last year I did an update prediction where we predicted all the future updates and I did actually guess that Dia de Muertos would be a theme at some point. Now I'm, I'm a year late but I still guess the theme, so it's pretty cool. Touching a little bit back on the leaks, as we mentioned earlier, the files have now been, ch the, 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 there's been changes made to the encryption, and we can presume that these are these two files here specifically, as these were the two files that were recently sort of shown to contain these nine new cars highlighted in yellow. Now, the interesting thing about this is in the update that's just gone out, we got one of the cars that are highlighted in yellow, the BMW M3 from 2021. So this is about two updates old now, and it's proving to be extremely accurate, which leaves us with these eight cars left. I don't really see any Mexican vibe with any of these cars here, but I went through this entire list and there's hundreds of cars 
there and these are the only cars on this list that aren't in the game. Now the reason I bring this up is because I unfortunately believe that we are running out of time, running out of updates to actually get these missing cars and the reason I say that is because we are on series 26 next, that is the next one we're talking about now, series 26. Now Forza Horizon 4, Forza Horizon 4's last update was series 37. Now yes that's just under a year away but series 37 and series 36, series 35 were all very lacking. The last major update for Horizon 5 in my opinion was series 30. Now that is not that far away. Yes we're making presumptions here that Horizon 5 will have the same lifespan as Horizon 4. It's a safe presumption to make because Horizon 4 did have a longer lifespan than usual, same as Horizon 5. Every update after Series 30 was quite lacking. There was maybe two, maybe three new cars, and that was it. There wasn't really anything else. Series 37 had the um, Super 7 high stakes, and that was it. So, so if we think there's a chance that Horizon 5 will stop updating the game majorly, come update 30-ish, give or take an update or two, that's only this December slash January. Like, it's it's really soon, do you know what I mean? We're still waiting on the Drag Racing update or the Drag Racing Horizon Story to come out, the Drift Club Part 2 update, the Donut Media Part 3, which was teased and I would say is mostly confirmed, a leaked part. There's still loads of stuff that's, like, leaked still that we've still not got. And if we are coming to the end of Horizon 5's lifespan in terms of there's probably less than a year worth of updates left, it's getting quite crammed and it has it is starting to show that a lot of these leaks are probably never going to come. Like we've recently found out that the Illuminati duos is probably never going to arrive to the game, which is a shame because that looked to be a big update. There is an extremely good chance that next year will be the last year that has any major updates for Horizon 5. It might, it might be completely wrong, Horizon 6 might not be till 2027 for all I know. This all means it might be time to start thinking about Horizon 6 quite soon. There was a three year gap between Horizon 4 and Horizon 5. And if there is the same gap, that would mean that Horizon 6 will release next year. It's possible. It's certainly possible. We don't know how far in production they are or if they're doing something kind of Forza Motorsport style where they're giving a bigger gap than usual, a much bigger gap to make a much more better game like Forza Motorsport. It means that towards the beginning of next year, which is just like four or five months away really, we may start getting Horizon 6 information, if it comes out next year that is. That makes me think that we might be running out of time, but let me know what you think in the comment section below. Hopefully they do come eventually, because there are some awesome cars on that list. Leave a like if you've enjoyed everyone, let's see what we get in Series 26, and I'll see you all later.